Hey, Deborah. Melissa here over at Lady Boss Leads. I want to take a quick minute to shoot you over that video as promised. So we're going to go through your website, do an audit, and show you some things that are holding you back from getting to the first page of Google. See what you can do today to bring you the most value and start outranking your competitors online. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is content. So when someone searches for, say, home remodel Melbourne, Florida, Google has what's called crawlers, and they crawl the internet searching and ranking those results. They're looking for keywords and what that site should be found for. So looking for the services that you offer and what areas you serve. So going over your website, the website looks great. It has um, a lot of nice pictures, a good layout, but it doesn't have a whole lot of content. So one thing I can tell you about Google is they love a lot of content. They like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage. And of that content, you want to use those keywords about 10 to 15 times, and it's really going to make a big difference in you being found in Google's eyes. So if we go and do a Google search for Home Remodel Melbourne, Florida, as you can see, um, this top area is called the Map Pack. So these are all of the companies that are ranking their Google My Business pages. So it's super important to have a GMB and try to get as much as you can to rank that and be in these top three. Because so when people are going and searching for remodeling companies, um, they're not gonna scroll to the next page and go through the whole listing of companies. They're gonna look at these top three guys and go through the reviews and the pictures and choose one of them. So I did see that you guys do have a GMB, which is great because that's really important to have. Um, just a few things on um, how you can help rank your GMB and get to be to those top three. Um, you really want to have a little bit more five-star reviews. So typically you want about at least 25, but it really depends on what your competition has. So when it comes to SEO, you always need to outbeat your competition in order to outrank them and go to the top of the list and beat them out. Another thing that helps your GMB is to have a bunch of photos on here that are saved in the correct way. So you want to save them as those keywords that we talked about. And also you want to have an about me section. Um, I don't see that you have that. Um, so if you add an about me section that also includes those keywords and some relevant content, that would really help you out as well. So if we go back to this search page, Underneath the GMB listings is the organic listings. So it's really good to be on the first page of this as well. Ideally the top three again. Um, so this guy, Todd Thomas Home Improvements, he's the number one listing in the organics and he's also in the top three of the GMB. So he's super easy to be found and he's going to get the most business. People are going to find him and he's going to get the most phone calls, which essentially will turn into the most customers for him. So they are in the top four of reason, right? So let's go take a look at their website. So here's their website. Um, it looks pretty nice, has a nice picture on the top, a bunch of photos, has a decent amount of content, but I can tell you off the bat that they really don't have enough content and they'd be easily outranked if we could up the content on your homepage. And there's also other reasons why they're in the top of those listings. So I use this program called AREFs. So it basically goes in and analyzes your website. So when I put his website in here, so we can see what we're up against, because at the end of the day, you always want to try and just outbeat that competition. So that way you're showing up at the top of the list and outranking them. So if you look at their numbers, um, this UR and DR rating, these are super important numbers and you really want to try and get these as high as possible. So the UR rating is how much Google trusts your site and the DR rating is how powerful your site is in Google's eyes. And these numbers are typically raised by backlinks. And you're probably wondering what the heck a backlink is. <laughs> so a backlink is any website, article, or blog referring people back to your site. So Google basically sees it as a popularity contest. The more people that are referencing your website URL, the more Google sees your site as being powerful and trustworthy, and they're gonna push that to the top of their rankings. So they have 471 backlinks coming from 166 referring domains. And out of those domains, 
126 of those are super powerful sites. So that's really helping them to rank at the top of the search engine. So like I said before, content plays a pretty big role in ranking your site as well. So let's go take a look and see what kind of keywords they have on their site. Okay, so when we look at this, um, the volume column right here, so this is the number of searches that they're getting per month off of these keywords. So home remodeling Melbourne, Florida is getting 70 searches a month. Kitchen remodeling Melbourne, Florida, 150 searches a month. Uh, cabinet resurfacing, 70 a month. Bathroom remodel, 150 a month. Uh, kitchen designers, Melbourne, Florida, 80 a month. So these are some pretty high search volume for all of these keywords. And obviously, the more people that find your site through these keywords, the more that turns into phone calls, which turns into business for you at the end of the day. Let's go take a look at your site and see how you compare. So your UR and DR rating is a little bit low. You do have 101 backlinks coming from 21 referring domains. So not all backlinks are created equally. So it looks like only seven of those referring domains are coming from super powerful sites. So Google really sees that. So if you have a lot of powerful backlinks, they're going to see, okay, this is an authoritative site and they're going to push your website up to the top of their rankings and you're really going to get found a lot more. So you do have 78 keywords on your site and you're bringing in 53 people to your site a month organically. So that's really good. Um, so it really wouldn't be too hard to outbeat your competition and push you to the top. I think that if you just got um, those backlinks that we talked about, added maybe a few more, um, con few more content to your homepage, get up to that 1500 words and use targeting those specific keywords that we talked about that would really help you out and put you in good shape. So I hope that you found this helpful and you're able to implement some of these strategies. Um, I look forward to hearing your feedback and hope that we speak soon. Have a great night.